You were married in the early 20s, you said, right? Yeah, married in 1922. Did you know, did your wife live in the community? Uh, yeah, she lived right next door to us. When she come here on September 1920, she came here on a Sunday, September Sunday before school started, you know, and she... She came here specifically to teach? Came here from, from, uh, what, from French Lake. She taught three years in French Lake. And when she had an opening here, some gal by the name of, um, uh, uh, I can't think of her name right now, she just left me. Anyhow, she was going to leave and she wrote my wife and said, Ms. Evans, uh, Ms. Clinton, her name was Mary Alice Clinton then, uh, there'll be an opening in, in Bloomington, Indiana, why don't you apply for the position? And she said, I believe I will. And so she applied for it and was accepted. And Tom Taggart, he's the guy that owned all down there in French Lake and West Baden. He owned that town. He's a rich man, you know. And he he got word that she was going to leave down there. So he came out to school one day, said, Miss Clinton, I hear you're going to leave us. Say yes, Mr. Taggart. Says, I got a position open, uh, a, a job in, in Bloomington, Indiana. I'm going up there. He said, did we make you mad down here? He said, no, Mr. Taggart, you were perfectly wonderful to me. He called those Negro kids down there his products. i tell you the reason why. In that hotel, that gambling house, they employed black waiters, you know, and had w w black cooks down there. And so he, every time she'd have a graduation, he'd, he'd decorate the school for her and furnish the refreshments and everything, you know. And so he said, Miss Evans, we hate to see you. Miss Clinton, we hate to see you go. But we you have to more money like the rest of us. <laughs> so, uh. so your wife started teaching in Bloomington in 1920? 1920. 1920. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she came here on a Sunday morning. And she, she wanted a room with my mother. Because uh, black people, you know, didn't have, could, couldn't stay in motels and hotels then, back in those days, you know. And so my mother couldn't keep her because she had two girls in, in, in our house, you know, going to school. And uh, mother got her a place right next door to us. And I, I was in the bathroom shaving that morning, a Sunday morning when she came here. And I heard somebody say, Miss Evans! Miss Evans, and I looked out the bathroom window. My bathroom window faced Mrs. Crawford's porch, you know, I could see who it was. And it was her standing on the porch. She said, you going to church this morning? And my mother said, yes, I am. She says, may I go along with you? And I said, yeah. And my mother said, yeah, I'd be glad to take you. And so I said, I'm going to get, as a good looking chick standing on Mrs. Crawford's porch, and I'm going to get to take him to church. Of course, my wife couldn't, my mother couldn't drive a car then, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't going to church that Sunday. We was going to Spencer that afternoon to visit uh, my grandpa, you know, and my uncles and aunts over there in Spencer. And I was dressing for that mostly. So I hurried up and dressed and took them to church and went after them. And Reverend Porter, down at the Baptist, Second Baptist Church, Jenny, give dinners down there every Sunday. And so I took him down after, after our church was out. She wanted to go down to dinner. So we took her down to Baptist Church, and something happened to the, to the stove that Sunday, and they couldn't have dinner down there. And I said, Mother, Mother, invite her to come out to our house, because my mother always had a good dinner on Sunday, you know. So she, she invited her to come out there, and she accepted. And we got to eating dinner after dinner. I said, Mother. Invited her to come and go on this trip with us. So I wanted to meet some of my people. Said she's going to teach in Bloomington. She accepted and went over. So when we went to Spencer, mother and and uh, Miss Clinton rode in the back seat. See, and we was when we left and spent before we left Spencer. I said, Mother, I, we was going to Martinsville to see my uncle Fred run a barber shop in Martinsville. My dad's brother. And so we was going to visit them, Aunt Flora and Uncle Fred. And so I said, you and, you and uh, Pop sit in the back and let 
Miss Clinton said a prayer with me. This is in the glide? In the glide, yeah. Mm -hmm. She accepted. Well, we took that trip, and everybody, my, all my kin folks thought she was a wonderful gal. Of course, I did too. And so, the Makata, the operetta is going to be at the Harris Grand Theater that Monday, you know. So I had a ticket. I bought my ticket first part of the week, you know, to see the Makata. And so I asked her, would she like to see the Makata? She accepted. And so Monday, I went down, traded my ticket off for two downstairs, you know, and we went to the Operetta Theater. And we got to going together. And by Jacks, we fell in love. And on the 15th day of June, I popped the question. And so, uh, and we was married the 22nd, 21st of June, 1922.